Man, why not redo Tiki Falls? Look at how beautiful. This is where it's gonna be a complete game changer for my channel. That's a great shot of the black hole. You hardly get to see it. Now you guys may be thinking, hmm, what is he gonna do? I can't give these away, look at him. That's right, your boy is bringing in an excavator. Almost a Jinrin kind of vibe. What do we measure out? Look at my butterfly koi, look how beautiful he's looking. They call this a green belt. 4.0. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha. Welcome. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Right behind me is Tiki Falls. This is a pond that I built with these two hands from the ground down. Now it hosts various koi and goldfish. I have about 20, 21 fish total, uh, about eight or nine koi to be exact, and the rest are all various goldfish. Now it's uh, sort of my pride and joy and uh, sort of a channel favorite. I got some big news about Tiki Falls. Big news, all right? Uh, but before we get into the big news, uh, back here, let me show you guys something. All right, so we got Tiki Falls here. As we walk on this pathway, we have this piece of grass here. I guess I call it the grassy knoll. Over to the left of this grass, we have this area right there. What's gonna go there is a big shed. You see that? Give you a visual, all right? So we're gonna have a shed right there and I'm gonna tell you exactly what that shed is for. It is for all of this here behind me. Let me show you. This is my garage. This is what it looks like. You see all of those boxes, all that shelving, everything is getting completely gutted out. So all of this is gonna be clean. Walls are gonna be painted. Floors will be redone. All of this cabinet work here is gonna go up against that wall. It's gonna look nice and clean. Everything's gonna be gone out of here. It's going into the shed in the backyard see all of that it's just a lot of stuff in here right a lot of stuff now this word's going to be a complete game changer for my channel i'm converting my garage into my man cave slash aquarium room and i'm going to call it tiki lounge yep i'll have everything set up in here i'll have a couch tv on the wall i just have this vision right maybe we put a refrigerator in here a bar yeah you gotta have a wet bar right you can't call it lounge and not have a bar. So maybe we'll have that and maybe we can do like a new series, like, you know, some live streams late night with Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Ooh, see, look at the ideas are just coming. I'm freestyling right now. I always had a vision to like have a man cave. Um, and then I thought, well, I have aquariums. Why don't I make it into like my fish room or Tiki Lounge. So I'm super excited to get started on this. I got a good friend of mine named Dennis who's gonna help me out and I can't wait. I mean, we're, we're thinking about putting up some walls. We're thinking about putting in, you know, of course, electrical outlets have, have to come in. And so, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get started on this. Um, so this is the perfect opportunity. If you're new to the channel right now, hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little notification bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video or when I update any new videos on Tiki Lounge. You don't wanna miss out, okay? And it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. So enough about what's going on in the garage and the shed. Let's go back into the backyard where I got some big news for you guys. Big news on the backyard. Let's go. <sighs> Now check it out, Ohana. Some of you guys may have noticed in the backyard on the grassy knoll, something was missing. Uh, let's go out there and talk. All right, my Ohana, in the backyard. Oh, wait, stop. Ooh, look at these babies. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? Man, he was a rescue too, guys. That is a rescue koi. Ooh, look at everybody's on fire right now. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, gosh, look at that. Look at that orange. Almost a Jinrin kind of vibe, right? Beautiful. Man, anyway, okay, sorry. I got distracted, guys. The grassy knoll, the slide, the swings that was here is gone. When we bought the house, the playset came with the house, which was a cool little selling point because our, our little guys were little at the time. They loved it, but we got a lot of use out of it. We got rid of it. We put an ad on Facebook. Someone locally here picked it up. They're actually using it for their pet goats. They came, disassembled it, took it home. Now you guys may be thinking, hmm, what is he gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything this spot. Let's take a walk over here. As we cross over the grassy knoll, we come up to my fence here. Now behind my fence, I'm just gonna show you. They call this a green belt. 
See that? There's a cul-de-sac right there and a green belt. So I don't have any neighbors in my backyard. This little cul-de-sac right here where you see FedEx is going to be an access point. Yes, when I say access, I'm gonna back out. See that? Four by four, the post right there, all coming out. What I'm bringing in is an excavator. Yep, that's right, your boy is bringing in an excavator. My boy Dennis, he has access to an excavator for probably one day. We're gonna make the most of that day. <sighs> should I tell you? Should I tell you now or should I wait later? Well, some of you may be excited to hear this news and some of you may uh, roll your eyes like my wife did when she heard this news. Are you ready for this? 4.0, yeah. We are going to redo Tiki Falls and let me explain why. Now, some of you guys right now might be saying to yourself, why in the world are you redoing Tiki Falls when you just redid it like months ago? Now, the truth of the matter is, is I wanna keep my koi. I wanna keep my goldfish. I don't wanna give them up. I mean, I have eight koi in here and the amount of gallons that Tiki Falls has right now, I'm nowhere near holding eight koi. They're getting bigger. I've had some of the koi for about three years and I'm attached to them. I can't let them go. I'll be so sad to let them go. I have a bunch of places I can take them too. And because I have the resources now with my boy Dennis and him having an excavator and I thought to myself, man, why not redo Tiki Falls? Why not? The people want it. The people want to see Tiki Falls 4.0. I know it sounds crazy. This is the fourth time I'm redoing it, but it's for the fish. I'm going to have more gallons. Now I want to make this maybe 3,000 gallons, three to 4,000 gallons. And I'm gonna show you the uh, the footprint that I have to work with, all right? I just wanted to uh, have a chat, sit down with the fish in the background and let you guys know what's going through my mind. I mean, come on guys, look at these beauties. How could I like give these guys away? I mean, look at, look at the black koi. I mean, look at them. Can't give these guys away. Look how beautiful this koi, that's another rescue. Oh, another rescue. Look at how beautiful. Look at, I can't give these away. Look at them. Look how beautiful these fish are. My, my goldfish here too as well. Oh, look at the black koi. That's a great shot of the black koi. You hardly get to see him. He's so elusive. Yep, I just can't do it. Look at my butterfly koi. Look how beautiful he's looking. And look how crystal clear the water is too, by the way. Jeez, oh, let's not forget about that. And then as we go through the canal, the rest of the uh, koi and goldfish are over here. Got some shabukin, oranda. There's a solid white platinum koi right there. Another shabukin coming out, tricolor. And then that orange and black one there is another koi that I rescued. Yeah, so as you can see, a lot of fish, but I need a lot more gallons for these babies. So I have the measuring tape out from point A to point B, okay? This whole entire area here is going to be pond. Now I'm going to come off two feet off of the fence line. See those rocks there? Way too close. It's right on the fence. Although I do have a little retaining wall in between the rocks and the fence, it still has to be off. I want it about two feet off this fence line because sooner or later we're going to have to redo this fence. So two feet off of that should be enough space to not have to worry about that. And we are going to right up there. See the grass line, the grassy knoll? I may even go into the grass if I need to with a waterfall or something. It's gonna come straight across. So it's gonna be this entire area here. So I'm gonna pan out a little bit and get a little different angle for you guys so you can understand. All of these plants here are coming out, digging them out. That little mound flattened out. So from here all the way out is going to be pond. Of course, the sidewalk kind of turns, so we'll have that little curve there and then all the way down here so all of it's going to be pond so your boy has a lot of work to do i gotta get rid of all these rocks but i have places to station them all so i have plenty of room to station the rocks um the gravel everything it's gonna be a lot of work it's gonna be a lot of work but i'm doing it for these guys right here yep i'm doing it for you guys I'm doing it for you guys 
I'm at a different angle here. I'm more towards the back of Tiki Falls, so you can see how much more space I have back here. This is all going to be pond, all the way down this line, all the way over there to that side, like one big giant semi-circle-ish, you know, almost like a big oval. And of course, I'll have like little, you know, planters pockets here and there for these plants and whatnot. I might, I might even break this curb out and take it out here into the little grassy knoll here in this area. Maybe this area, I, you know, start doing the little waterfalls. Now, now speaking of waterfalls, this is my idea. That's the idea. Boom, an aquascape pond waterfall filter. One there, one there. Now, I wish I could say that this video was sponsored by uh, Aquascape, but it's not. I just saved my pennies, guys. Recycle, recycle, guys. <laughs> saved my pennies. I bought two more of these Aquascape Pond waterfalls, which filters up to a thousand gallons each, okay? That's kind of a rough estimate. Now, I don't have just two, I have three, because you guys remember, right under these slates here, I have another Aquascape pond waterfall filter which i love so that would be a total of three of those the diy ones that i did at home depot one's there and that one over there time to upgrade guys I told you 2021 we're doing some things here <laughs> we're doing some things you know what for the time being though i, I can't hate on the uh, ones i picked up at home depot they've done the job thus far no casualties in my pond but hey it's time to upgrade don't cheat yourself treat yourself my motto so i'm thinking these two waterfall spillways maybe we put one there one here i still got to look for uh, two pumps for these things maybe i put uh this waterfall spillway maybe i move it and put it in the middle so we'll just have three waterfall or maybe we put them together you know i mean possibilities are endless let's take the measurements let's go over there and see, see how many feet we got okay the back there all the way here to the front is let's look at the feet let's see what we got to work with it looks like we got 17 feet there we're looking maybe about 17 and a half feet see as you as i pan out i should say it kind of curves though you know so like here might be about 16 feet because it curves in and it goes back out so we'll call this 17 and a half feet long right it's going to be two feet off this wall line here okay now let's measure it from two feet off the wall line to this side right there is about two feet i measured it out from the fence line like i was talking about and we're just going to follow this measuring tape and it comes all the way out to about and eh, we're looking at about right where the curb is 12 and a half feet give or take i mean 13 feet if you want to round it up because i have no problem getting rid of this curb as you can see further down I cut into the curb there. I actually just removed the piece of the curb and we kind of uh, went a little bit wider to create this shelf. And I still have space here for this walkway, so I'm not even tripping. So if I have to cut into this little pathway, I have no problem doing that. I have no problem cutting into the grass area too if I need to create somewhat of the waterfalls, you know what I mean? And I feel, you know, I may have enough filtration to filter uh, that many gallons. I'm not sure how many gallons exactly it's going to be. You know, I have this waterfall, you know, filter, that one there, and then I have a third one that's being used right underneath those pieces of uh, slate there. That would be like 3,000 gallons, and I, I think that would be enough. I just gotta get a couple pumps. I have to get some underlayment too, and I gotta get pond liner. I'm gonna go big time, guys. I'm not gonna do the cheap Home Depot pond liner, which there's nothing wrong with it. It helped me, you know, start to get started. I want to do a really high quality pond liner on Tiki Falls 4.0 because this will be the last upgrade. I promise you guys on Tiki Falls. It is. This is the fourth time I'm redoing it. So um, I'm going to do like a 45 mil, I think they call it a EPDM quality uh, of pond liner. It's that rubber thick rubber pond liner that they use uh aquascape uses it preferably i'll try to look into aquascape and see if i can uh you know purchase one there and an underlayment too as well so we'll have a padded underlayment and then we'll put that 45 mil epdm pond liner on top of that and try to do it the right way 
You know, um, a big shout out to Ralph over at Pondscapes, AZ. It's Ralph with Pondscapes. He's been a, a, a huge influence on me building this pond. Same thing with Jack Haru over at Atlantis Water Gardens. It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. I'll have all of their links down in the description below. Go check out their channels. Beautiful. In, in a different level, just a different level, okay? Different league, um, they are certified aquascape contractors, so keep that in mind. Uh, but those guys have inspired me to do Tiki Falls from day one. So a big shout out to those guys. I may reach out to Ralph. Ralph, if you're watching this, I'm gonna reach out to you and ask you what size pond liner I need. I'm not gonna go deeper than three feet as far as the pond goes. What do we measure out? 13 feet by 17 and a half feet. So he will know what size pond liner to get. Um, I might, you know, just go to Aquascape and, you know, purchase it online. Yeah, and then start going to work. It's gonna be a lot to do, but I'm so excited to do it. And not only that though, I'm super excited to share it with you guys because a lot of you guys that have been with me from day one know all the blood, sweat, pain that I put into Tiki Falls. And you guys get to see the whole process again when we go Tiki Falls 4.0, which is just bananas. I, I just, man, it's, it's gonna be crazy. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. Please guys, do me a favor and hit that like button too as well, okay? It just helps the channel out. And um, yeah, the paradise is just gonna get better. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.